James Betcher, assistant coach with the Niners. He's a defensive assistant and senior defensive assistant and run game specialist. Like almost sounds like a coordinator leaving the Niners to become a linebacker coach for the Bengals, which to me does not sound like a promotion. It's an interesting departure for the Niners coaching staff. And they're having a bunch of departures. It seems like they're really remaking their coaching staff. They're going to have a whole new direction next year with Trey Lance. I don't know. What do you make of uh, Besher leaving for a lateral move? A, 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 I mean, strange to me. What do you think? Well, first of all, yeah, there are a lot of moves right now. And we are talking about the 49ers coaching staff. Uh, and I do think it's kind of a, of a wind that lead the franchise into a new way. I mean... We are going to have a new quarterback. Uh, we have a really young defensive coordinator, I think, who who somehow found his tone during the season, his style of play calling. But uh, he has a lot of things uh, to 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 improve himself uh, in the future. And I do think that um, that somehow it's good for this franchise to take part with a lot of our assistant coaches because we can have some really new faces to the team which can lead us into a different ways and um, i do think that it will help on a long term on a short term i'm not sure if it's a good decision i got a conspiracy theory all right yeah. this is what i do conspiracy theories now look <laughs> i this isn't the first guy who's left the niners for a um lateral move as he for said wes welker did it too yeah. wes welker left the niners to get the same freaking job with the Dolphins, which is interesting. You usually don't do stuff like that, especially if you're looking at this Niners team as a team that's going to win the Super Bowl next year. A lot of people think, a lot of Niners fans think they're going to win the Super Bowl next year. But if you remember, I, I got to think that there was, and I'm going way out on a limb here with my conspiracy theory, but I, this part I think is true. <laughs> I think that there was probably internal split on which quarterback, they what they should do at quarterback last offseason. Maybe some people on the coaching staff said, Jimmy's fine. Maybe some people on the coaching staff said, we want Mac Jones. Maybe some people in the coaching staff thought they were going to get Mac Jones, like the rest of the uh, world thought the Niners were, were going to go that direction. And then it's Trey Lance. And I wonder if certain coaches on the team aren't particularly optimistic about this new future that the Niners are transitioning to. And maybe a guy like Betch is like, you know what, I'll go coach for the Bengals who are just in the Super Bowl. You know what, I'll take a lateral move to go to a team that – really is going to be good for the next few years because I know Joe Burrow's good. I, I I can't explain why Wes Welker would go work with Tua. I'm just saying, maybe there are some people on the Niners who weren't all in with Trey Lance and maybe those people are getting purged. Is it possible? Is it possible? Well, right now, after the news of the last season, during the last season in the NFL, I, I, I must say that everything is possible. So it, it, it's it's kind of a league that... When you think you understand the things that are happening in the league, then the league proves that you understand nothing. And uh, somehow, yeah, you can be true. I, I do think that you can be true. It is possible. But uh, I do think, in my opinion, that it's more like they just want to have a new start with a new quarterback. Yeah, I just feel like this is the kind of team that co assistant coaches would be taking lateral moves to come here because there's so much optimism like the this team is going to take off that's going to have the alex smith the patrick mahomes effect but actually there's a huge restructuring on the on the coaching staff and it seems like they're bringing in people who are specifically have specific um anthony lynn comes to mind. Yep. anthony lynn comes to mind someone who has worked with a quarterback like trey lance before someone who can do a run game that involves the quarterback mike mcdaniel i mean that wasn't really what he did the last seven eight years he was always yep. working with quarterbacks like Jimmy. So maybe the Niners are trying to bring in coaches who are more oriented to think along the lines of having a quarterback like Trey Lance. I can't prove it, but I wonder. It's, just, it's interesting to me. There might be some internally some hand wringing about. I don't know how good this team's going to be next year with this quarterback who's played three games since high, or whatever since 2019. Maybe those guys. We don't need you on the team. We need people who actually believe in this direction possible yeah and, and who can help trade develop into the quarterback that we all want believe in him.